and welcome to today's edition of Noshing with Nashies. Today we have dill pickle soup. For that we're going to need four cups of potatoes that have been peeled and diced. They're in water so they don't turn brown. We will need one cup of dill pickle diced along with four tablespoons of pickle juice. We will need six teaspoons of chicken base to go with our six cups of water, half a cup of flour, two cups of milk, two tablespoons of butter, our seasonings will be black pepper, curry powder, garlic powder. And then we need one onion chopped. We will need four stalks of celery chopped. And we will need about two cups of carrots chopped, as well as eight pieces of bacon that have been cooked in the oven and then chopped. All right, here in our Dutch oven over medium heat, which is five on my stove, I have melted the two tablespoons of butter and to this we are going to add the onions, the celery, the carrots, and the bacon. And we are just going to cook these until they are nice and soft. Okay, so now that our onions are nice and transparent and our water has cooked off, I'm going to add the half a cup of flour to make a roux. This is a nice thick soup. What we want here is for the fat to coat the flour. This is how we're going to get this beautifully thick soup. Never eat raw flour. It's not good for you. Even though I ate lots of it eating cookie dough as a kid. I survived. You can see how that incorporates in there. I'm going to get all that fat to adhere to those starch molecules. Now, we're not going to make this any kind of color roux. There are differences going from uh, shades of blonde all the way into extremely dark, and you use those for a lot of Cajun cooking and many other things, gravy, sauces. But today, we're just doing a basic need for thickening, and you just don't want that raw flour taste in your soup. It's not good. So just cook it for a bit here. All right, looks like all the flour is nice and incorporated. It smells amazing. Now I'm going to add my six cups of water and I'm going to add my chicken broth. Well, chicken paste, I should call it. And add about half. We don't want it to get lumpy and bumpy. You can see it's already starting to thicken up. Right now it's paste soup. 
but we want all those bits from the bottom. That's where the flavor is. Alrighty, a little bit more water. I'm not measuring, I just make this by eye, but it's about six cups of water. The milk comes in later toward the end because we don't want that to curdle. Here, I'm going to put in my chicken paste. And while this is doing its thing, I'm going to put in some pepper, some curry powder, and some garlic powder. Now, if you're not a fan of curry, you don't have to use this. You can use anything that you like. I'm a big fan of it, so I'm going to use about a teaspoon. And about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Fresh garlic works great. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then some fresh cracked pepper. Oh, this already smells amazing. And now I'm going to add in my pickle and pickle juice. I know it sounds strange, but I swear it's a very yummy soup. All right, we're going to let this cook for about 15 minutes and thicken up. And then we will add our potatoes, cook for another 15 minutes so that they don't get overly soft. And then we will add our milk at the very end. it's been about 15 minutes and as you can see our soup has gotten nice and thick and now we're going to go ahead and add the potatoes watch yourself for splashing all right we're gonna let this cook for another 15 minutes and then I'm going to turn off the heat and add my two cups of milk and we will be finished
has been about 15 minutes and our potatoes are cooked so I have turned off my heat it's still bubbling that's fine the carryover heat keeps it nice and warm and I'm gonna go ahead and slowly stir in my milk this is what makes it beautifully creamy All right, and there we have it. This is dill pickle soup. I will show you the final product in just a moment. All right, and there we have it, a beautiful bowl of dill pickle soup. If you've enjoyed this episode of Noshing with Nashies, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.